hey, drones are cool, aren't they? So why don't I make a game about them? First things first, I set up a basic joystick controller. Yeah, the game will be available on mobile. But fear not, I'm also planning to release a browser version. The player will have control over a drone consisting of three main parts, the frame, body and four propellers. I decided to break down the drone into six separate objects for ultimate customization. Next up I added movement for the propellers. And you know what? It's actually looking pretty good. Now, let's talk gameplay. As you may have guessed, the game revolves around drone control. I've got three exciting modes in mind, and today I will split the beans on the first one. Quick jobs. In this mode, players will tackle short missions assigned by different individuals. The quick job mode will offer an unlimited number of missions, randomly generated to keep things fresh. And here's the tricky part, creating a mission generating system. My approach involves building a variety of maps. When a mission starts, the game randomly selects a map, an objective, like stealing a diamond, and one of several predefined locations for the item. This way I can easily expand the game with more maps in the future. To test the mechanics, I textured a wooden floor and set up a simple scene. But then it hit me. The camera needs to follow the drones, so players always have their eyes on it. The camera now smoothly tracks the player-controlled drone. Oh, and here's an extra touch. The player can't simply fly through walls. If they touch a wall, the drone gets destroyed, but before that, I've added sparks to indicate that the drone is taking damage. But let's cut to the chase. I created mission randomization script and an object that spawns at multiple instances throughout the level, randomly choosing one of them. This chosen object becomes the place where the mission's objective is connected. Now it's time to design some levels. Hold on, I realized something while designing the second map. The current art style isn't quite clicking with me. So I started exploring top-down games on the internet for inspiration. I'm aiming for a simplistic yet attractive look. And I had this idea of making the game resemble a building plan, since players are remotely controlling the drone. I scored various plans to get my creative juices flowing. while revamping the overall aesthetics. I thought, hey, why not add some enemies for extra excitement and challenge? But that's not an easy task. I need to implement bullet firing, bullet scene interaction, bullet enemy interaction, a health system for both players and enemies, as well as make enemies shoot bullets towards the player. Now that the groundwork is laid, it's time to revisit level progression. I must keep track of the player's progression within each level. At the start of the level, I spawn the relevant item for the player's objective. Then a player triggers a script that notifies them that the task is complete, allowing them to move on. So I began sketching out various props. I crafted a collection of stealable items, something felt lacking. The gameplay seemed quite boring. Just enter the map, fight some enemies, nab the desired item and exit. That's it. I decided to spice things up by adding a bunch of minigames. Picture this. A minigame for snatching a diamond, a minigame for sweeping a handbag, a minigame for data haste. Plus I threw in cameras that players can disable by playing a minigame and a door that requires other minigame to open. Oh, and be warned, 
if you get caught on cameras, more enemies will swarm your location. With all these mechanics on board, I jumped into designing new levels with all these functionalities. The game is really starting to take shape now, but that's all for today's devlog. In the next episode, I'll tackle designing the game's UI and implementing a progression system. If you don't want to miss out, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.